Okay, I'm just going to show you quickly how to use Dartfish Easy Tag. So if you just open the app, along the bottom you have Games and Panels. If we go to Panels first, press the plus button and create a new panel. So, for example, you might want to call it Ultimate Frisbee. Now, you can decide to have a 2x2 two two layout all the way up to an 8x5 layout. So this is the cells, so it will make more sense in a minute. So we've got the 2x2 two two just for simplicity. Here's your four cells, tap number one. So if you want to measure, for example, um, effective catch, just tap back. You might want to go ineffective catch back um, effective pass um, and maybe ineffective pass. So you create a template that's your template in your panel so you can use that over and over and over then you tap on the games this is where you uh, select your uh, create a new game so name it the student oh, student A and I'd put the date so say the 12th of the 10th tap next now is our ultimate frisbee 2x2 two two layout and it pops up here <clears throat> now once the game starts students can just simply tap the start button when when they witness uh, the person they're following do an effective catch or an effective pass they can just tap the cells and it keeps a tally um, of the different passes and catches once they're finished, tap stop. Now a good way to keep track of who's who is you can press the home button and the power button that will give you a screenshot. Tap resume. Do the same thing. Your two screenshots are down here. So you'll be able to say, okay, student A had two effective catches, three ineffective, uh, two effective passes, and two ineffect four ineffective passes. Um, it's good for keeping stats or or watching the effective or ineffective um, catching or passing, for example.